fun. I didn't want you to hear the beeping and not know what's going on. So, we are going to talk about reading and writing whole numbers. Okay, one point C. So we're on page three in our book. All right, at the top of the page. All right, let's just start off with that first paragraph. We begin by noting that all numbers between 20 and 100 that do not end in zero are hyphenated words. Okay, hyphenated words when we write them out. So that first rare, first number, 23. I think you guys all know how to say 23, but do you know how to write 23? Okay, so that's where that hyphen comes in. If you guys all know what a hyphen looks like, that just means you got to put the hyphen between those two words. And we've got to work on the spelling. 20 is a hard number, right? 20. Twin T. Three. Okay? So, give me enough. Any number needs a hyphen at the end. Okay? Questions on that? We're good with our hyphen? Alright, we like our hyphen. So, next one, 35. 30, T-H-R-F-U-Y, dash, 5. Okay? The hyphen is also used in whole numbers, when the whole number is used as a modifier, okay? So when we just talk about a place, 10,000, we don't need our hyphen. But when we're talking about the 10,000th place, then we have to put in that hyphen, okay? So the only reason we're talking about this is because you guys are going to have to write out some numbers in your homework tonight. And you got to have that hyphen for it to be completely correct, okay? That's an important piece. Otherwise, nobody's quite sure. Who can tell me in real life where this is the most helpful, where you're going to have to write numbers. Really, right. where do you take checks? Exactly. So in checks, if you don't write that hyphen, the bank doesn't have to cash it. The bank doesn't necessarily know what you're talking about. Right? They probably will cash it, but it needs to be right so that everyone's on the same page and everyone knows exactly what number you want the check to be for. Right? Do you agree? Yes. All right. So, like I said, the 10,000th place, that would need a dash. The other words that are hyphenated, other examples, are the 100 million digit, when you're talking about specific states, okay? That's when we got to put our hyphen in. And I told you guys yesterday, you can remind me, what does the decimal place represent? What little word do we give that? Come on. And, exactly. So, we got to remember, and, when we're talking about numbers, is only if we include that decimal. Okay? So if you look at that next little part, the word and is not used when we write out whole numbers. Okay? Whole numbers don't need an and because that decimal isn't doing anything for us. Right? We told, us it's, told you it's invisible unless we've got numbers after it. Okay? We're all good on that? Alright, alright. So 501. Who can tell me how we say 501? What do we say? Raise your hand. What do we say? 501. 501, not 501. We hear so many people do that, right? But if we want to get our math right and we want to get our words right, it's 501. Perfect. Good job, Tamika. All right, so the next one, 370. Who's coming up? 370 is. Destiny? Perfect. She didn't use that word and. Awesome. All right, next one, 422. I need a Porsche or Demond. I'm going to call on you. Not raise your hand. Porsche. Perfect. 422. Demond, I'm going to give you one more for you. Let's do... How do you say that one? Perfect. 304. Awesome. All right, all right. So, we talked yesterday about our place values. You guys know we talked about the different spots. Doesn't matter if you've got numbers in them, right? What's this one? Let's review. One, so let's all shout these out together. Just your one chance to not raise your hands. I need all eyes up here. We've got one. So what comes next? Ten. Ten. What comes next? Hundred. Then? Thousand. Thousand. Then? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Hundred thousand. Million. Ten million. Hundred million. I can't hear you with the ladies. I'm going to make you do it by yourself. Patty, you've got to be nice and loud for me, okay? All right, so we said each group of three has what three components to it? Each group of three has in the first oh, box. Comma. Oh, comma. Oh. Comma. The commas are so between the commas. That's what I'm talking about. Between the commas, there are three spots every time, right? Yeah. And every time in the spot closest yeah. to that comma yeah, yeah. on the right, uh -huh, the place value is what of that one? Destiny, I'll give 
with you? The one. It's the one thousand in the second set, right, of three. It's the one million in the second set of three. Okay, so as long as we know that these ones are millions, and we know that these ones are what? Thousands, good. And then these ones, we don't really have a name for them, right? They're just kind of our babies. But in every set, they have the same sort of value. You just got to add that next little part on, right? So you tell me again, one more time. One. Good. So then we say the same thing, right? One thousand. Two thousand. Hundred thousand. Good. You see the pattern? Again, just want to make sure that we're all on the same page with that. That's an easy way. If you can see the comments, you can count the spaces between, you know exactly where you are, right? Good, good, good. All right, so you guys got your place values down. Seems pretty good about that. Any questions on those? No questions? All right, let's flip our page. Or page four. We're an example of 1.1 at the top of that page. Use words to write the number. I want you guys to use words out loud. So we're not going to write it right now. I want you to tell me what that number is. Don't look below. Don't cheat. Give me that first one. So let's count. What I usually do with these is I like to count the numbers and then kind of put commas in the, in the number in my head, right? So how many numbers are there? Eight. Does everyone agree? Five, one, seven, two, three, six, four, two. <coughs> okay? So I immediately, in my head, just start putting commas in. So I can name, name it the same way we just did here. It's just got numbers associated with it now, right? Okay, so this five is in what spot? Ten million. Ten million. So we have five, one. This is where it gets a little trickier, right? We know that five, one is what? Fifty-one. Fifty-one, good. So fifty-one, how many? Fifty-one million, good. Thousand. Good. Perfect. Any questions on that? No? All right. You guys did well with that one. So 51,723,642. And nobody said an and. You did. Don't do it. Don't write it on your paper, okay? If I hear it come out of your mouth, I'm not going to be the biggest stickler because I missed it. But if I, if I can catch it, I'll correct you. Just make sure on your paper we don't put it in. we got to practice our check writing. When you guys are making billions of dollars and you can write me your $9 billion check, okay? You know who to come to when you're making your billions, right? Yeah? Javon? Yeah? Keep you in mind? When you're a millionaire? When you're a billionaire? Yeah? Okay. I'll keep you in mind too. Don't worry. 